Want to know how to create a talking photo for your YouTube channel just like this one? In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a stunning talking photo from generating the perfect image to animating it and even removing those pesky watermarks. Whether you're a digital artist, a content creator, or just someone who loves experimenting with AI, this tutorial is packed with insider tips and tricks to help you create truly unique talking photos. So stick around until the end. Trust me, you won't want to miss a thing. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Without further ado, let's jump right in. To generate the image, we'll use Leonardo AI, but you can use any other image generator AI you like. To open Leonardo AI, click the link in the description below and it'll take you to this page. Click here and it'll take you to the login page. Here you have two options. You can log in using one of these accounts or enter your email and password. Choose the option you prefer and click sign in. Once you're signed in, it will take you to the main page. Click on image creation, go to the preset menu and select anime. Click here to open the preset style menu and select anime semi-realism. You can choose your desired image dimensions here. In the advanced settings, ensure the model selected is Leonardo Anime XL. Click here to close this window. Copy and paste your prompt here, then click Generate. Here are the first images generated. If you don't like the image generated, edit the prompt as desired and generate again until you find the image you like. To download the image, click here or open the image to preview and click here. To reduce the number of tokens per generation, you can use the older version of Leonardo AI. To do this, enable legacy mode by clicking here. Don't worry, you can go back to the new version by simply turning the legacy mode off. Go to Fine Tuned Model and select Leonardo Animate XL. Copy and paste your prompt here. As you can see, this will only cost three tokens. Click here to generate. You can change the image dimensions by clicking here and selecting your preferred dimensions. Then click generate. To download, click here. Using this version will help you generate one image at the time and spend less tokens for each generation, but keep in mind that the quality of the image generated may be affected. If you like one of the generated images but want to remove certain elements, use Canva. Click on Create a Design. Select YouTube thumbnail if your image dimensions are 16 by 9 or customize the size of your design by clicking here and writing your dimensions. On the left panel, click Uploads and then click here to upload the image. Add the image to Canva and adjust the size. Once done, click Edit Image and select Magic Eraser. Choose the Click option. Click on the element you want to erase and then click Erase to remove it from the image. Once you are done, download the image. To animate the image, we're going to use Wondershare Verbo. This tool is easy to use and offers various features like fixed background 4K avatars, realistic avatars, talking photos, voice cloning, and more. To open Wondershare Verbo, click the link in the description below, which will take you to this page. Here you have two options. You can download the app or generate videos using the AI tool online. Choose the option you prefer. Once it's open, it will take you to the main page. If you want to use your voice, you can record your audio or click here to clone your voice. You can also use another voice cloning AI like Eleven Labs to clone your voice or generate the voice over using other people's voices. Select the talking photo feature then click here to upload the image you want to animate. Once the image is uploaded, ensure it's selected and click Next. You can write your prompt here, then click here 
to select the voice you want to use for your voiceover and the language and then click here. If you have recorded your voiceover or generated it using AI, click here to upload your audio file. You can also add subtitles or background music to your video if you wish. When you're ready, click here. It will take a few seconds and once done, it will take you to the final page. Click on the video to view the video generated and click here to download. Here is the result. If you are getting any value from this video so far, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and turn on notifications so you never miss out. In the free plan, you get two minutes of free generation, 512 megabyte cloud storage, and one free voice cloning. If you need more, you can upgrade to a paid plan. Right now, they have a 65% off on the yearly plan. I noticed that I wasn't able to see the promotion on my download app, so if you need to upgrade, please use the online version of Wondershare Verbo. To remove the watermark, go to 123 Apps. You can find the link in the description below. Click on Remove Logo from Video, then upload the video, select the watermark, and click Apply. To download, click Save, and then click Export and Save. If you don't like the blurry mark that the watermark removal AI leaves on the video, you can use Canva to hide the watermark. Here's how to do it. Go to Canva, click here, click on Video, then click on Uploads and upload both the video and the image. Add the video to the timeline, adjust the size, and then select the image and add it to the timeline on top of the video. Adjust the size to match the size of the video like this. Click here and reduce the opacity of the photo to be able to see the watermark on the video. Click Edit Image. Crop the image to cover just the watermark and make sure it blends seamlessly. Close the Edit Image tab, select the cropped photo and increase the opacity back to 100%. As you can see, this removes the watermark seamlessly. To download, click here, click download, and then confirm the download. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're excited to start creating your own talking photos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to write them in the comment section below. I love hearing from you. Until next time, keep creating and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.